You could have been dumb, dude. There's so much dumb out there, man. We're in a new pandemic right now. It's a stupidity pandemic, okay? There's a whole lot of dumb out there, all right? It's real easy to be dumb. That's why. You ever tried it? It's fun. It's kind of fun. You're right about everything. It doesn't matter. If someone disagrees with you, you call them one of the, one of the phobics or like, like an ist of some sort, you know what I mean? And you're good to go, you know? What's your name, dude? Adam? Fascist. Fascist Adam. <laughs> Good luck going back to work on Monday, okay? <laughs> You're done. There's so much dumb in this country. There's a lot of smart in this country, clearly, but there's a lot of dumb, too. Like, sometimes I feel like half of this country is running around like, oh, tap water's gonna turn us all gay! <laughs> Then the other half of the country is like, well, maybe we should all be gay. And it's just <laughs> a nightmare that I'm trapped in between. <laughs> it's insane. And it's dangerous, it's contagious. The, the dumb is contagious, it's contagious. You don't wanna, you don't wanna catch, that, catch that stupid 19, dude. You don't wanna catch it, dude. Because if you catch the dumb, if you get too dumb, you only have two possible outcomes. If you get too dumb, you either die from stupidity or you become president. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Those are your two options. Y'all don't even know what president I'm talking about. That's crazy. You don't know. Am I talking about the old white guy or the older, whiter guy? You don't know. It's crazy. We're in a stupidity pandemic. I'll give you a couple examples, right? So I have a, a buddy of mine that I grew up with. Politically, we're a little bit different. Like, politically, he's very far left, and when it comes to politics, I'm uh, non-binary. So we... <laughs> we <laughs> so... But he believes in, like, crazy shit, right? Like, he thinks the news is always telling the truth. And, like, Joe Biden is still alive. Like, crazy shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, now that's too much. All right, relax. This is a comedy show, not a rally, okay? We're here to laugh, not start a movement. You know what I mean? We're at a house party recently, and he comes up to me, and he says this, word for word. This is how dumb things have gotten. He comes up to me, and he's like, bro, honestly, dude, at this point, dude, if you haven't gotten the vaccine yet, dude, get your ass out the country, dude. I swear to God, bro, it's the only thing you can do to take care of your body, bro. Can you name one other thing, dude? I bet you can, dude. I bet you can name one other thing, dude. I bet you can name one other thing you do, dude. I bet you can name one other thing you can do to take care of your health, dude. Damn right, bro, because the only thing that you could do to take care of your health is to get the vaccine, dude. <laughs> so which one did you get? <laughs> like, yo, relax. I'll give you another example of stupidity. The Washington Redskins changed their team name, right? They were the Redskins a couple years ago. They wanted to change the team name because it was cultural appropriation and offensive to a certain group of people, right? And I saw that, and I was like, cool, change it. Why would I care? I got hobbies, okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody's upset, change your team name. Make it something cooler, you know what I mean? Did you see what they changed it to? The Washington Commanders, okay? So not the Redskins that got pillaged and murdered, uh-uh. They changed it to all the white motherfuckers that did the pillaging and murdering, dude. That's crazy. They might as well change it to the Washington Christopher Columbus's. Is, is. That's nuts. That's like the LA Lakers changing their team name to the LA LAPDs, okay? And making the new logo uh, a freeway sign with two police batons in the middle. <laughs> It's like every year, there's some new dumbness that we gotta deal with, you know? But if you stay conscious about it, you can avoid it. That's the whole thing. You gotta be conscious about the dumb, so you can avoid it, you know? I try to, I try to, I try to elevate my consciousness every year. I just celebrated a birthday recently. Was anybody else here born? <laughs> well, no, sir, you might have been hatched, we don't know. <laughs> I'm hitting a spot in my life now where I could tell how old I am, like not even by the years though, like the age doesn't matter. I can, know, I can tell how old I am by the types of injuries I get when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> know what I mean? You got into that spot yet? I woke up a couple of weeks ago, I was sitting on the edge of my bed, right? First thing in the morning, I'm sitting right here, edge of my bed, I look left, I pulled my neck, right there. <laughs> you ever hurt yourself looking in a direction? <laughs> It'll make you question ever looking that way again, ever. Because for like a week after that, anytime someone would say, hey, Brent, I'd be like, what's up, dude? What's good, dog? We going out? Where do you want to go? This way, probably, right? It's pain. 
<laughs> can't party the same anymore. We got to party consciously, too. As we grow, we got to party consciously. No more popping pills, dude. <laughs> can't be doing that, dude. I used to, I used to pop pills, dude. <laughs> Flintstones vitamins. <laughs> You remember those? Molly for children? Do you remember? <laughs> when I was seven years old, I ate an entire bottle of Flintstones vitamins. <laughs> Whole bottle, to the dome, okay? <laughs> Do you understand? I had 80,000 milligrams of vitamin B <laughs> coursing through my seven-year-old veins. I was doing algebra on an Etch-a-Sketch, <laughs> tripping out to Lisa Frank folders like, <laughs> Crazy. A whole bottle of Barney Rubbles to the face. I didn't get heartburn, I didn't even get a hangover, okay? That was back then. Now, I can't eat dairy after sunset. Do you understand? I'm like a human gremlin, okay? Can't party the same way you used to, you know what I mean? You hit a certain time of your life and if you don't drink a full glass of water before bed on a weekend night, You might go poop right for like three days, dude. <laughs> I don't want that for you, dude. I want you to have strong, healthy poos, dude. You know what I mean? How many times you pooped today, bro? Two? Gotta get those numbers up, dog. <laughs> Less elk meat, more spinach, dude. <laughs> or maybe it's the opposite. I don't remember, but... I want you to have big poos, dude. We don't talk about that in this country enough, dude. I want you to be, we should, we, we should all be having big, strong, healthy poos. I want to vi 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 vibrate that into your life, dude. Big old ones, dude, that come out looking like The Rock. Just... I want you to have a big, a big, a big old, a big, a big one. I want you to have a big one, a big one. It's so big, you get up off the toilet, you got better footwork now, you know? I want that for you, okay? I want you to have a, bi a big, giant one. This is almost over, ma'am. I want you to have a big, a big one. It's so big that it leaves a little mark on the toilet bowl to let all the other ones know that it was there first, okay? <laughs> I want that for you. Also, did you know when that happens and a guy comes in to use the bathroom, we'll pee right on that little mark, dude, <laughs> to try to dissolve it? It's like a fun little game for us, dude. Look at the guys in this room right now, dude. Yes, be proud of that, dude. That's for us, dude. That's for us. That's for the, for the boys, dude. <laughs> That's for us. Ladies, you can't have that. You can't be a part of it. You can't. You can't. Like physically, you cannot. You would require a funnel or some tools, like a dental mirror of sorts. Gotta party consciously now, you know? I remember partying with girls was the most fun because when you go out with a group of girls, it's like watching an episode of Planet Earth in real life, okay? You don't know what's gonna happen. There's always a lizard, okay? You just don't know. <laughs> And every group of girls has that one friend that's like the leader of the group, right? Her name is always Katie or Ashley with an E-I-G-H. There's always <laughs> a leader of the group. You could tell who this girl is at the beginning of the night, right? When the car pulls up out front, she'll go to the front of the line. Like, hi, are you the Uber? <laughs> Fucking ew, hi. <laughs> How many seats do you have? Four? Okay, we have 19 people. <laughs> And we're just gonna sit in laps and use one seat belt because it's the law. It's fine. It's fine, y'all. You know, it's, it's fine. Rachel, bring the Tito's. He doesn't fucking care. <laughs> Same girl at the bars a couple hours later, hunched over a stool, like, <laughs> where's my phone? I fucking hate Brendan. I hate him. <laughs> He's got a weird dick. <laughs> it's weird, it's shaped like a boomerang. <laughs> I want <laughs> I want fries. I want fries with ranch. <laughs> Dude, you ever seen a girl need ranch? You ever seen a girl eat ranch after midnight? It's like watching a Dementor suck out a soul. <laughs> so when I go out now on a weekend night, I bring a little to-go cup of ranch with me, dude. <laughs> I keep that thing on me, dude. I stay strapped. <laughs> I keep that, I keep that, I keep, I keep that valley hidden, dude. <laughs> oh, 
Just in case, I see one of these Katie's or Ashley's sitting on the curb at 3 a.m. Makeup streaming down her face, phone popping out of her titty. I don't know how y'all <laughs> do that either. Ladies, it defies all laws of physics. Okay. I can just go up to her and be like, hey, shh, it's okay. Shh, shh, it's okay. Shh, 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 it's okay. <laughs> take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> Give her that ranch blessing. <laughs> it's more fun when you go out with girls. When you go out with dudes, there's too much aggression, you know what I mean? There's too much, like, there's too much, blah, 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 you know? You ever seen dudes going out in a pack of dudes wearing the same flannel shirt and <laughs> trucker hat, just like, oh, this is the, this is the, 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 Joe Rogan, bone marrow, bone marrow, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and there's always one dude in that group who's like looking for a fight the whole night. He's just waiting to make eye contact with another dude. That's the signal. As soon as one dude makes eye contact with another dude, he starts questioning his own sexuality. He gets all angry. <laughs> My favorite thing to see are two dudes almost get into a fight. Because outside of a bar, if you see two dudes almost getting into a fight, because they just made eye contact, they start moving further and further away from each other, just still talking trash, you know? Like, they'll just bump into each other like, yo, what's up, dude? I'm right here, bro. What's good, bro? What are you looking at, dude? Yeah, right. I'm right here, bro. What, bro? I'm still here, dude. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, right. I'm right here, bro. Fuck you, dude. What's up, dude? I'm right fucking here, dude. What, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Damn white looking at bitch. <laughs>